All right. We have the technology. We'd like to start out with one of Acadiana's finest poets. Um, we've got uh, our dear friend, you may have seen her at the ACA or um, Casa Azul or doing work with Teens Through Project Sound. Um, give it up for Poetic Soul, Alex Johnson. Thank you, thank you. Um, the first piece that I'm going to do is about bullying. Um, being that I work with kids, I hear a lot of stories and I mean, all of us have been bullied at some point, right? Raise your hand so I know. Tell the truth. <laughs> I, it's a hard topic to talk about and to deal with. Um, so I'll just go ahead and get into the piece and I don't really present any titles. So if y'all have ideas for titles, you know, let me know. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> There is no feeling in the world that compares to the feeling of being alone. Confined to your own thoughts as their screams precede articulation. Resonating pain to accent your flaws, drowning out your voice, securing those bars that hold you close. They remind you, remind you of every moment you dread. They remind you of, well, you know, the bus stop, the lunch line, the classroom, home, the mirror, more than anything, the mirror. And I know people say that every day is a new day, but when I wake up, some things just won't go away. So I stopped looking. I thought that if I didn't see me, then they wouldn't see me and all the pain would drift away, but it didn't. Nah, it didn't. And I know, I know because people always tell me that God doesn't make mistakes, but that doesn't, expl that doesn't explain why I can't look at me. Why every time I walk out my front door, you remind me that I'm ugly. And why every time I stand, you remind me that I'm shaped funny. And why every time I raise my hand, you ignore me. And every time I open my mouth to speak, you remind me that stupid is all I will be. And why? Every time I look up at me, there is nothing there. Nothing. Nothing but these translucent tears weighted by my imperfections, hailing to cover up my footprints. I am nothing. And I've been nothing for so long that I've not learned my own voice. I am nothing. When? When will you stop judging? When will you stop criticizing? When will you stop yelling and just stop and love me? Thank you. Okay, this next piece, I, I just have to start it like this. How many of you have iPhones? Just real, raise your hand. Don't lie, tell the truth. <laughs> or some kind of PDA, Android, or something. Okay. How many of you have stood in line for a PlayStation or iPhone or something like that? How many hours? Four. Four. I did 16 <laughs> for an Xbox that I didn't even keep. <laughs> but. I shopped around. <laughs> The shortest line. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> How many of you think that a person that stood in line, like me, 16 hours, would stand in line 16 hours for something dealing with academics, academics or education? Nobody? I don't think anybody would stand 16 hours to get their education? How many people you think would actually do that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, this piece addresses that uh, we we put so much into technology and the common fads that we see on t on TV, and we forget what's most important, God. Um, so let me just get into the piece. Amazingly, I have allowed myself to be trapped in a state of malcontent. Open arms allow shadows to cradle my descent deeper into yesterday, forming the reflection of tomorrow. Populated by generations accustomed to repetition as usual, history repeats itself when we allow its words to pollute our intuition. As if humanity had not been blessed with free will, writing on the back of ignorance, practiced at being still, practiced at being still, practiced at being silent and passive. And as the world turns around us, we pay attention to nothing. Idealizing objects, not realizing its definition. Idealize 
to represent or think of as better than real reality would warrant. Closing our mind's eye, our thoughts lay dormant, motionless like the idols we hold in adoration, standing in 16-hour lines just to purchase then praise. Standing in 16-hour lines just to purchase then play. Pay attention. These man-made creations have become our gods. Celebrating celebrities instead of the most high, giving all reason to warrant our destruction. As we step in tune with polyphonic ringers, flashy lights and bright colors guide our eyes and our fingers. God, governmental, ordinance, department, we are practiced at being still. We fall in line for every golden calf shown in step on television. We are practiced at being still. We allow fads and spokesmen to direct our decisions. We are practiced at being still, practiced at being still, practiced at being silent and passive. While these man-made creations have become our gods, we are practiced at being still while history repeats itself. Practiced at being still, practiced at being still, practiced at being silent and passive. We have become a generation accustomed to repetition. Thank you. Okay. Among all things we have come, he has come to be, in denial of the reflection of he, a slave to his own insecurities, restricted by his own boundaries, a paganish fool, separating the image of God to accommodate mortal views, lost in sin and divided at the core, rejecting the existence of life's true Lord, the perfect picture of positivity, split into two, now negativity prevails with flawless precision, severing the spirit from the root. By law, two negatives can never fuse, leaving only the option for potential growth or the chance to refuse. Divine intervention with an intention of a holistic method to heal. Mind, body, and spirit turned against one, humanity left to the surreal, left to their demise, but despite the burning rope, he continues to hold his ties. Walking around singing of strange fruit hanging from the trees, so caught up in life's melody that he'd forgotten to breathe. Holding in all toxins, choking on severed pieces of his soul, purging positivity out so that pain can take control, lies bore holes through his teeth, flowing out, tainting the earth, allowing deception to reside where God's heart used to be. Rewording the definition of how to be a man, sculpting man's image with an unsteady hand, filling in the gaps with platinum, platinum and gold, shutting around the cheap saga, swearing he's in control, spitting diamond encrusted lies with the princess cut, screaming out to the heavens, I just don't give a... People will know me from ocean to land. I'm more than a man, a gangster, I am.